VA's National Cemetery Administration, or NCA, honors the service and sacrifice of our nation's veterans by maintaining pristine burial grounds, monuments, grave headstones, and markers at sites across the country. One of NCA's most challenging history projects in recent years involved the conservation and reproduction of a remarkable memorial object with a remarkable story. This is the original 32nd Indiana Infantry Monument, also known as the Bledner Monument, because it was hand-carved by Private August Bledner, a Union soldier in the Civil War. He was not a sculptor who was paid a huge commission to build this amazing thing. He was some guy who served in the, served in the regiment and was very much moved by the death of his friends. The regiment was composed entirely of German immigrants, not so surprising when you consider that nearly a quarter of the Union fighting forces had some German ancestry. On December 17, 1861, Bledner and his comrades repelled a Confederate force of 3,000 men, six times their own number, at the Battle of Rowlett Station near Munfordville, Kentucky. They ensured the continued movement of troops and supplies along the Louisville and Nashville Railroad, but lost more than a dozen men in the battle, inspiring Private Bledner to carve a monument in their honor. This memorial is the nation's oldest known Civil War monument. So that's why there was so much focus put on it. That's why there's been um, so much interest in this particular monument. Three years ago, VA's National Cemetery Administration removed the monument from Cave Hill National Cemetery in Louisville so that its weather-damaged surface could be treated. But the loss of so much of its inscription made it impossible to fully repair. So in September 2011, after conservators stabilized the monument to halt further deterioration, it was moved here to the Fraser History Museum, also in Louisville. We knew that the Department of Veterans Affairs was looking for a suitable home. Uh, we knew that we had this foyer that is free and open to the public. Um, we felt that because we are at a history museum, uh, uh, that this was a, good, was a good fit. And it is. But the story doesn't end here. 800 miles from Louisville, in a Newport, Rhode Island workshop that dates back to the 18th century, master stone carver Nick Benson had his hand in the Bledner project as well. When I first approached the idea of doing this work, I uh, did a, a sample and a, a small uh, broad edge brush layout of a particular section of the original memorial and produced it absolutely the way I felt as though it should be produced. The National Cemetery Administration saw my particular submission and uh, you know, thankfully they thought, actually this is, this is the way to go. In 2010, NCA commissioned Benson and his team at the historic John Stevens workshop to produce a replacement monument to be installed where the original once sat. Both Benson and NCA agreed that fidelity to the character of the original monument was paramount. That meant reproducing it by hand using a mallet and chisel, just as Bledner had done nearly a century and a half earlier. It also called for using the same high quality limestone for the base, which was added in 1867, and for inscribing it in the same style of German typeface that Bledner had used. The payoff came in September 2011, when the two-ton replacement monument was installed at Cave Hill National Cemetery. History had come full circle. The Bledner Monument Conservation and Replacement Project has been a partnership between NCA and VA's Historic Preservation Office, the Kentucky Heritage Council, the Fraser History Museum, and the German American Community in Louisville. Today, you can visit the new monument at the Cave Hill National Cemetery and see the original at the Fraser History Museum in Louisville.